Okay, in today's video, we're removing the original equipment beacon on this Cessna 182 and we're installing a wheel and LED. This is a 71080 series light. Let's get to it. Take your screwdriver, take these screws out. These four screws here, that's actually the transformer for the old light, so those won't come out. Take off this side, the other side. There's a boot on this that you have to take off, slide off. There's a set screw in here you remove, and then you can unthread the VOR antenna. And you can take this cap off with the light assembly in place. Let's do that. Okay, we've taken the antennas off. We've taken the screws off both sides. I can pull this guy up. I got a B on me. And there's our plug right there. Undo that. And you've also got these two little wires there that go to the uh, ground terminal. We can cut those and we'll take this, get this cap free. Now be careful, these caps, they are fragile ABS plastic. And they do have a tendency to want to crack, especially because they're old. So be careful with that. Let's get this apart and we'll get this on the bench. Okay, I have the cap here on the bench. We've taken the old system out put all the parts to the side. Here's the new mounting plate. It comes off the new one. You have to disassemble it a little bit to get this plate. And here on the installation instructions, it'll say right here, you need four number six 32 screws. And you can see this has eight holes in it, so you can mount it a myriad of ways. But this old plate that's in there only actually has two nut plates on it. So we're gonna have to add two additional screws. Also, this nut plate takes number eight screws. So we could either modify this plate to accept number eight screws, or we could modify this ring with number six nut plates. We're gonna keep the number eight nut plates and we'll drill out these rivets and we're gonna place them with number eight screws and nuts and that's what we're going to do on here but it does say four screws so don't think you could get away with two i mean two would probably work but then you didn't install it per the instructions so we'll do that and we'll get the new beacon mounted up on here okay so i have the new one mounted um there are little tiny uh, lock washers go under these screws that are easy to uh, drop when you take it apart. I'm missing one. <laughs> Dropped it already. So uh, that's mounted. Uh, these four holes here were where the old uh, transformer box was mounted. And this is what failed on the old light. And so you can do whatever you want to cover those up. I'm just going to put nuts and washers back in there to cover the holes. And then uh, we can begin wiring it up and reinstalling it. Okay, so back here on the airplane, took a bit of a rag and we cleaned up all the dust and dirt was under here. And we've got our meter. We've got the beacon light switch on so we can verify which wire right here. And it's hard to see through that little Molex plug, but it's the red wire. The red wire has 24 volts, so that's gonna be our power wire. Uh, what we'll do if we get in here, we don't need uh, this plug anymore. And of course we don't need that yellow wire. And this other wire that goes to it goes to a, um, a resistor. Now it's part of the old uh, transformer system. We don't need that. So I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna put a uh, connector on this red wire. We also have this little connect uh, uh, terminal here with a bunch of ground wires going to that. We're gonna take all those off and we're gonna make just one. And so we'll have two wires, we'll have our hot, goes to our power supply and we'll have a ground terminal that goes there. And we can hook those up to the, uh, the new uh, LED in it. So I'll work on that next. Okay, so uh, we cut back the tubing that was on this bundle of wires here. This clamp, uh, the screw for that holds a new wire. It's the uh, ground. And typically I like to put a pair of hemostats on this wire to keep you from dropping it down in there. I actually dropped it in there and was able to get mechanical fingers to, to grab it. But if that fall, fell way down in there, it'd be a pain in the ass. So put something on that to try to keep it from falling in. 
But now that's all wired up. We're not using the green wire. We'll put the cap on and we'll test it. And there's some more wiring we have to do down below. All right, it works. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put uh, the rest of the cap screws back on. I'll put the VOR antennas back together. And not too particularly important, but under here is a resistor for the old uh, light system. We could remove it. You don't have to, it's not hooked up to anything anymore, but we'll take that apart and remove it. Okay, with this cover off, here we have the resistor and all these Cessnas had this resistor somehow, somewhere in the, the tail area. And this is part of the old transformer system. This is the green wire that on the other side we took out, uh, are not using. Uh, you can disconnect it. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. The other end goes to the ground. I mean, this is literally doing nothing. You can take it out if you want. Um, if you took this out, maybe secure this wire, or remove the wire if you wanted to. Um, we're just gonna leave it uh, in place. And if we decide to take it out later, we can. But just wanted to show you that. That's no longer utilized as part of this system. So, all right, we're gonna get back to putting the uh, cap back on. Unfortunately, I spilled the bucket of screws, so I need to go find them all. Okay, cap is back on, the screws are all torqued. We put this VOR antenna in. There's a little set screw right there. It will tighten up. Once that's tight, then we have the boot. Boot's installed backwards. Just goes right over like that. Oops, nope. Hard to do with one hand. All right, I'll put this down and I'll manipulate that guy on there, and then we will do the other side. Hey, that sure looks good. So we double checked our work. We went through, made sure all of our hardware is back. We cleaned up our cart uh, and all our tools. Made sure there were no extra parts. There were plenty of extra parts. All the stuff we took off. And we took the parts that we wanted to keep for inventory and we put them back into our used inventory. Uh, we recorded this, the uh, uh, aircraft times, and we're going to go do the paperwork last. Um, this is the kind of work that an owner can't do himself. This does require an A&P to do this work. Uh, but as you can tell, it's not particularly difficult work. And if you get your A&P to help you out, they'll probably come over at the end of the day, take a look at it, and help you do the paperwork and sign it off. So, uh, hope this helps. A um, couple of other notes on this installation. You know, it asks for four number six screws to attach the mounting plate to the, uh, the plastic fairing. We did eight or four number eights, which required modification of the plate, but that's just because of the mounting ring inside of our tail cone. It already had spots for number eight screws, so we kept with that. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward installation and it's a great improvement. Uh, this thing will last forever and it's brighter than sin at, at night and you'll love it. So thanks for watching. Good luck. It's bright. Looks good.